This is Lori at ArdentDesigns.ca and today's tutorial we're going to be creating this pretty simple painting professional paintbrush logo using Adobe Illustrator. So let's open up a new document and we'll get started. Now I brought this over just for reference so I can use it for colors and whatnot. But if you want to use different colors, just go to your color picker and choose whatever you like. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the rectangles tool and I'm going to create a rectangle. Doesn't need to be a perfect square, but We'll make it a pretty big size, maybe about that size. I'll go to the wrinkle tool with this object selected and double click on the wrinkle tool. If you can't find it actually, just right click on this, this area here and you'll find it. Let me close this up here. So right click and you'll see that it's underneath the width tool and wrinkle tools at the bottom. So double click, we'll get this menu come up and you can see the dimensions or parameters that I've put in for myself. So Take a minute and copy these and then click OK. Now we're going to take this wrinkle tool and we're just going to wrinkle the bottom of the graphic until we get something that we like that looks paintbrushy. Okay, so that's good for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the direct selection tool and you'll see these little circles here. We're actually not going to do it on the paintbrush, but we're going to create another rectangle just above there. So let's do that. And about that size, maybe a bit bigger. And then we'll go to the direct selection tool. We'll select these two top circles here. Press shift to select the second one and then pull them in so that it rounds. And you can pull them in as far as you want. That's as far as it'll go right there. I'm going to press I for eyedropper. Your eyedropper tool is right here. I for eyedropper. And then I'm going to click on this grayish color. And I think this is too big, so I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to shrink it down a little bit, maybe maybe about that size, and then I'll just move that down with the down arrow key. Okay, something like that. Now let's grab this, we'll move it down, and we'll create a handle. So let's again go to the rectangles tool. And we'll create a rectangle about that size and then we'll go to these handles here so let's um oops select all of them let's pull it in and you'll see we get this nice rounded object here and let's center that maybe make it a little bit longer and then we'll need to make a little circle here we'll cut it out so let's go to the the shapes tool here let's click on the ellipse and right about here press alt and shift we'll create a circle let's press i for eyedropper and turn that white okay now let's let's get to the text tool here press t for text click on the board and let's type in caps make sure your caps lock is on painting and then I'll select that, I'll press Alt, and then I'll click and drag this down, and I'll triple click in here and professionals. And again, you can type whatever you like. I'll scale that up. Let's actually zoom in here. Okay, I'm going to choose something called Futura. Future medium. Use that one. And then I'm going to let's see what I did on the other one here. Now I've spaced this out, I believe. Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna scale this up using Alt and Shift. So we'll make that maybe about this size. And this one here. I'm going to scale it down just a little bit actually. Now let's go to this character tool. Let's click on this and we're looking for tracking. So let's try 200, see what happens. Okay, that's not bad. So I'll select both of these and let's, uh, let's go to the align tab and let's center them. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this painting 
word and I'm going to go to the transform tool and I want to see how wide it is. So I'm going to triple click here and then I'm going to control C to copy that number, whatever your number is. And then I'm going to go to the professional transform and control V to paste and then press enter. Now these two should be the same size now. So when I align them, it should line up pretty good. Okay. Actually, I'm going to make this smaller because I have to put the, the block around it. So let's go to the shape tool and a rectangle. Let's make a rectangle. We'll select this. I'll press I for eyedropper and I'll get that same gray shade. Go to the transform panel to find out the width of the painting. Control C to copy it. Let's go over here to this rectangle here. Go to the transform panel and let's control V to paste. Enter. Okay. And I'm going to I'm going to drop that to the bottom by right clicking arrange and send to back. And uh, I'm going to undo that control Z because I have uh, this white area here is actually a background. So I'm just going to right click and arrange send backwards. So your shortcut is control parentheses. Okay, that's better. Let's zoom in here. Now I'm going to turn the lettering on this professionals to white so that it pops. That looks better. And then I'm going to make sure that this, uh, actually, let's get the text here. I'll press shift and select this text. I'm going to right click and create outlines to finalize this text. That way it's no longer text actually. It's just an object that you can edit and manipulate. I'm going to center that vertically and horizontally, make sure it's perfectly centered in there. And then I'm going to group these two. Control G is the shortcut. Where is group? Object group is right here. Control G and ungroup is Control Shift G. Okay, so we're going to group them. And then I'll select these two and let's align those perfectly. That looks pretty good. Zoom out. I actually don't like how pointy that is. So I'm going to see if I can fix that a little bit. Let's go to the direct selection tool. And let's move that handle up just a little bit. Okay, that's much better. Okay, so if you wanted to edit these, you could just do it that way. Okay, and I think I'm going to move these down a little bit. Whoops. by using the select tool. Just going to move them down so the space is minimized here. Something and should have grouped those first, but I didn't. Okay, we'll group it now and control G, remember the shortcut. So now it's grouped and I might make that smaller, something like that. And then I'm going to group these text items together, control G to group them. And I'll press, let's collect these items, make sure they're grouped together. And then I'll press shift to select the text and I will align that center. I'll move that down a little bit. Okay, this painting word. I'm going to ungroup it and just select the word painting. Press the I for eyedropper, this tool right here. And let's turn it green. There. And that is how you can create a simple painting professional logo graphic using Adobe Illustrator. If you like the tutorial, please like, subscribe, find me on Facebook to get updates on new tutorials. And as always, thank you for watching.